but you want nothing basic. But, but you want nothing basic. You ain't seen nothing lately. I'll show you won't talk about it. They ain't seen nothing lately. We gon' do what they been doubting. No need for frontin', baby. Ain't no need for frontin', baby. Won't put you on nothing basic. But, but you want nothing basic. Nothing basic. Just amazing. Yo, YouTube is fine, but OG, I see you now. OG gang in this motherfucker. Hey, it's your girl, OG, Mama Thug, a.k.a. Natural Nessa. Welcome back to the channel. Today is Vlogmas Day 6, so clearly we've skipped a few days. So, uh, day 4 was Sunday. Jada's birthday. Shout out to Jada if she sees this video. Happy birthday. Jada is 15. Yesterday was Vlogmas Day 5. It was my sister's birthday. 36, 37. Happy birthday to you, sibling. Um, I love y'all. Um, hopefully we'll get together and spend time. Anyway, y'all, uh, today's Vlogmas Day 6. So it's Tuesday, December 6, and I'm late for work. So waiting for my Uber. But since I'm late, might as well get the vlog rolling because if I don't then y'all ain't gonna get nothing. And that's not gonna make y'all happy, me happy, nothing, right? So anyway, so I'm dressed. <laughs> Bam! Born diamond, as always. Love it. Um, shop different. Wow. <laughs> My lips! <laughs> it's, oh, Koa, go on. Now. Actually, come on ahead and come show them your Pennywise, since that's why you did all that, because you want to be in the video. Come on. Tell them what it is. It's Pennywise the Dancing Clown. <laughs> All right, now go on. <laughs> ah! My lips! Ah. Okay, anyway, so we're waiting on the Uber. It's like five minutes away. Um, today we're going to talk about moving on, letting go, accepting things for what they are. Because I really have a hard time with that. Especially because my emotions be so deep into these things. So that's what today's topic is going to be. I don't want to get into too much of it right now. Just because, yeah, I'm going to have to cut the video short and go. Get in this Uber and go to work. And I'm not going to talk to y'all on my ride. No. But letting go, moving on, accepting things for what it is. So pretty much I have, I want to be in a relationship. Okay. And I understand that. As a woman, I have to give a man a reason to want to be in a relationship with me. Also, I got to find somebody who actually likes me. And, like, we have to want similar things out of life. Like, I can support him in his dreams. That he could, I would hope that he would support me in my dreams. And then together, we're going to be like this. Because opposites attract, clearly. Um, however, like, dang, if, if I'm focused on somebody else and forgetting about all the things that I want and I need and I like, it's not really cool. Like, I, right now, I'm trying to learn myself again. Um, be happy, heal, all of that things. And then hopefully, my time will come where I'm going to meet somebody special. I have met somebody. A few, a couple of somebodies. But they're just somebodies until they choose to be my somebody. Or for me to be there, somebody. I might cut that part out. Cause either way, I'm truly living the single life. You know, actually meeting people instead of ignoring them, talking to them. You know, going on dates, things like that is what where I'm at right now in my life. Cause I'm 28 years old. Okay, baby fever is whooping my ass. Cause Jen, my sister wants me, <laughs> keeps asking me to have a baby. I'll take care of it. Lies. It's lies. Um, <laughs> take home. Uh, <laughs> but uh, babies are so cute. But I am absolutely traumatized from being pregnant. Right? Okay? It was not a fun experience for me all the way around. Depression, my body, sickness. I was in and out of the hospital, and I did all that shit alone. Like it was awful. Pregnancy ruins your body. I don't want to say ruin it because, like I said, everybody's experience is different. But me, for personally, so I am traumatized from that, and I'm not trying to do it again. Also, I never wanted to be a single mom. I'm here, here I am. So the only way I'm bringing another baby into this world would be that the man that I'm with is actually with me. One, that's I would definitely have to start there. Can I get a relationship this time? Um, and he would really want to have a baby. Like, absolutely. Not no, oh, he put a baby in me. Now that's it. And now here I am living my life. No. 
my children do not deserve that because Cole already has to deal with having a, a, a parent who picks and chooses when they want to be around and I hate that for myself and my son so anyway that's definitely off topic but baby fever is real out here. It's literally everywhere. Like I said, Trish and, and Cam are having their first baby. Riss and Kwan just announced that they're having their second baby. And that's so awesome because Trisha and Rissa get to be pregnant as friends together. I think they're both due in May. So, like, their new babies are going to be like this. And then Shine's just going to have two little babies around him that he gets to help take care of. And, you know, be a role model for. Uh, my Uber is arriving. So, yeah, I will catch y'all most likely on my lunch break and we'll get into this healing letting go accepting things for what they are like comment share and subscribe ho gang did you miss me did you miss me of course you did anyway so it's finally my lunch break um i tried to get some clips of the kids and gym today that was our specials uh we were playing hungry hungry hippo on the at recess they asked me to create a hopscotch for them so uh y'all saw a little bit of that uh today's tuesday so i'm going to popeyes <laughs> um all right, so, oh, and I'm gonna stop by Starbucks because I have not came across any of these new cups that I keep seeing everybody else on TikTok finding. So let's see if this Starbucks got any new cups in before we go to Popeye's. But on the walk there, let's continue our talk about accepting things for what they are, letting go, moving on, all of that. Um, okay, so in regards to me, like I said, wanting a relationship, things like that. Okay, so it's hard for me to accept the fact that I have feelings for somebody and they don't feel the same way back. Um, it's hard for me to accept that I have spent years. It's actually hard for me to accept the fact that I literally begged God not to allow this person to come back in my life if we weren't going to work out. And, you know, like, I don't even really know where, but, like, yeah. And have you ever felt so broken, so hurt, like, where you feel it in your chest, literally? Like, I, dying from a broken heart is a very real thing. Um, and that's why it's important to heal, because, whoo, when you hold that shit in, <laughs> it's causing health issues and shit, so... Um, I feel like that was a little bit all over the place, but my point being is that I begged God not to allow me to feel this type of hurt or this type of loss. Cause it's like at this point, dang, not only am I not getting like the romantic re relationship, we can't even be friends. Like not that we can't, but that's just how it feels right now. It just feels like we're on two different pages. We can barely communicate and have a normal conversation without one of us feeling some type of way. And to the person that I'm talking about, you know, I'm sorry. I never personally try to hurt you or make you mad or be disrespectful or make you feel any of the things that you feel. Like I'm literally just being true to myself and how I feel in that moment. And I don't mind apologizing, but some things just are the way they are and I can't I can't do nothing about that so who knows maybe the distance is better for us although it's gonna be a hard transition it's definitely gonna be a hard transition where are my airpods um 
And you know, I can love you and support you and do all the things from a distance. Do I want to? That's not what I choose, but maybe that's what I need for right now. Let me put this AirPod in. Hopefully you guys can hear me. Um, anyway, so we're coming up on Starbucks. Hopefully they have a cup in here um, that I want. I need to get a retwist. Uh, so guys, off topic. This weekend is my G's and mimosas. They're doing an ugly sweater themed Friday after next or Friday out. Yeah, I'm inserted. But either way, I got our tickets, me and Nay. I don't know if my sister's gonna go, so I really didn't buy an extra ticket because then I would just have three tickets for no reason. Because me and Nay really don't even have anybody that we can invite that we know is for sure gonna show the fuck up and wanna have a good time with us. So I just bought our tickets and then come Friday, if they still have last call tickets, if my sister's talk about she wants to go, because the event is 12 to 6, she'd be ready to go after 30 minutes of being somewhere so didn't want to waste the money on that but if she wants to come i would love for her to experience this munchies and mimosa experience because i just feel like i'm not i don't want to miss anymore i missed the one in atlanta and i missed the one in dallas so the next time they go out of town i that is my goal to make it even if i have to go by myself because i'm gonna have to start doing a lot of things by myself now because I can't force Nate to do everything. Um, so yeah, day six, 31 days of healing. Make sure you like, comment, share, and subscribe. So yeah, I have a hard time like accepting things for what they are. I feel like I can change things. I always just want to make things better. And I hate being the problem and not being able to solve it. Um, Moving on, oh, goodness gracious, it's hard because I don't want to. So like, it's, a, it's all like one thing. Like I have to accept the situation in order to be able to move on. Ugh, that's ugly. Just like, I just want to be like, you should let me love you. Let me be the one to I'ma give you all the things you want and need Look at me, born diamond out My outfit is awesome <laughs> Get you some, get you some Okay, we're at Starbucks So let's see if they got some cups And if they don't, I'm gonna cuss I'm cussing, that's, that's that Do y'all have some cups? Do you have some cups? Can we get the bill? <laughs> oh shit. Finally, I come and they have new cups. Okay. Yay! Okay, guys, what do we want? Look at this one. This one's really pretty. This one's really pretty. I like that one. I already have that one. This is like cranberry juice. I don't think I want that one. This one is cute too. In blue, they have these ones that like change colors. I don't think I want those though. This one matches me. I think I'm gonna get two cups, guys. Let's see. I really like this one because it's like half black and half blue. Let's see. I gotta make some decisions. Books, about to go across the to Popeye. So I chose this cut. One, because it matches the shoes that I have on today. Two, because it's blue, but cute. Because, shout out. Well, not shout out, but rest in peace to my nephew, Pooty. Blue is his favorite color. So I'm going to add some blue cups to my uh, collection. I'm going to have to show y'all my collection when I get home tonight. Um, My goal or like my yeah my goal my plan was to like be that girl and every day the cup that i have would match but i don't even bring my cups out the house because i'm scared for something to happen to them but let me order my lunch usually when i come on my lunch break they're busy but this is my meal guys i just got a two-piece special fries and then i have her to fill up my new cup with some water and i just look up so it's really giving <laughs> I'm 
gonna eat right now just to drive my food, watch some TikToks, um, save some TikToks for me to do tonight. So I will, I'm gonna tap back in with y'all when I'm walking back from my break so I can say a few more words and then I'll see y'all later on this evening. Bye. Like, comment, share, and subscribe. Hope. Y'all, my lunch break is quickly coming to an end, so I'm walking back. It's windy as fuck. Don't have my jacket, but I got my new cup. <laughs> Ooh, and that water is good as fuck. Um, well, I really just wanted to say, um, when people show you who they are, believe them. And people change. People change. Feelings change. Situations change. But don't switch up on me. <laughs> don't do it. It's not gonna work for me. I don't like it. And, uh, yeah, cause one thing about me, I'm gonna be me. <laughs> I don't give a fuck who's around. Whites, blacks, Hispanics. I'm gonna be who I am. I'm gonna say what I gotta say. I'm gonna do what I wanna do. And if there's a problem, then we'll figure out how we're gonna solve it. And that's that. But um, yeah. Also, don't be like me, because if somebody tells you that they don't, they ain't killing you, then they ain't feeling you. Also, don't let people play you like you're crazy, though. Like, because, like, I'm not saying I'm not crazy, but, like, motherfuckers will literally have you out here thinking shit is sweet. And then try to be like, oh, you're delusional. You made that shit up. Like, am I? Because I'm finna beat your ass. That's what I'm finna to do. But, um, Okay. Don't let people do that either. What is that? Gaslighting? Is that what we call that? Yeah. Don't let a motherfucker gaslight you. Because me... <sighs> Violence is not the answer. I would just like to say that. But sometimes a motherfucker got to get their they head knocked in order to get right. Because who? why would you play with me? On the list of things to do, it should never be played with OG, mama, son. Because I am that girl. And we can get crazy. Because I'll be a fucking lunatic in this motherfucker. <sighs> but that's it for now. I'll see y'all later. <laughs> Just because I can't choose. Like, I want to be cute. But I also want to have an ugly sweater. So I'm just like, fuck. So I just want to go pick one from Walmart and put an outfit together based off of that. Because I only have so many days to try to order something or find it. So I don't know if I want to take y'all with me to the mall. Today is Tuesday. I just feel like I can't keep waiting until the last minute. Because I low-key don't want to wear a sweater, but I'm going to wear a sweater. Because that's what me and Dan are known for. Any theme type of event, we going to show up and show the fuck out. Hell. And they're giving away five hundred dollars, I think, for the ugliest sweater. Like, but my only thing is, like, does it have to be ugly? Like, what if I just have the best sweater? Like, what if my sweater is not ugly, but it's funny, or it just make everybody be like, ah, that's tight, where you get it, you know? Because I want to win five hundred dollars. <sighs> Things that go on in my brain. All right, I'll really see y'all later. <laughs>